Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I wish to begin by passing my thoughts and indeed those of my colleagues to the families and friends of those impacted by the terrible, terrible tragedy in Solihull. Mr Speaker, I'm going to start by saying something which I think many on the benches behind the Prime Minister wish that they could say. Nobody is illegal, and indeed there is no such thing as an illegal asylum seeker. But what we, what we all agree upon, Mr Speaker, is that the UK's, the UK's system is broken, and we can't, of course, escape from the fact who has broken it. But in order to address some of the problems that are faced, I do indeed welcome some of what the Prime Minister has said. I have personally visited hotel accommodation and seen the damaging impact that those long stays have had on people within that accommodation. So to hear positive words in terms of speeding up that process is indeed something which I hope we can all agree on. But I do, however, have grave concerns. Grave concerns about the new proposed legislation grave concerns about the proposals in respect of accommodation, and grave concerns about the one-size-fits-all approach to asylum seekers yeah, yeah. emanating from Albania. So, in that regard, I would like to ask the Prime Minister a very simple question. Has he consulted with the United Nations High Commissioner on Refugees in respect of these proposals? And if, so, if not, why not? But ultimately, the solutions don't lie in either or any of those above proposals. They lie in ensuring that safe and legal routes yes, yes. exist. Yeah. Now, the Prime Minister made reference, extensive reference, to safe and legal routes. So let him rise to his feet and outline one, one single safe and legal route. Maybe perhaps for a, a family member of an asylum seeker in Afghanistan, in a way, of course, that the Home Secretary could not just last week. And finally, finally, Mr Speaker, it would be remiss of all of us in this chamber not to reflect upon the Independent Migration Advisory Committee's report from this morning, which detailed how important migration is, is to our public sector, to our private sector, and indeed, and indeed to our economy. So how on earth does this government's hostile approach to migration assist with that proposal? Thank you. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to tell the honourable gentleman that the Development Secretary met last weekend uh, with the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. But what I would say, what I would say, Mr. Speaker, it's a point of difference between us and, and the parties opposite. Is we shouldn't need the permission of someone outside to control our own borders. He, 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 uh, he asked also about Albania and our approach. I would just gently point out to him that what we are doing is in line with what almost every other European country already does with regard to Albanian migrants. And lastly, he made the quite frankly absurd claim that we don't have safe and legal routes into the UK. Mr Speaker, in the last few years, we have made offers of over 450,000 to welcome people from Afghanistan, from Syria, from Hong Kong, and most recently from Ukraine. And that's because this is a compassionate, tolerant country, Mr. Speaker, and it always will be.